Hey, this is Vincent Nguyen with Slash Gear. We have such an amazing opportunity to be, be able to be here at VW's Proving Ground, and I'm inside the new Golf R. This car is so unique in a way that it's outfitted with a system or a software upgrade, if you will, just to keep it as simple as possible, to teach you how to drive on a, on a racetrack and be a, a good race car driver. I've got Samuel here to walk us through what's gonna happen and you know, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to let the Golf R drive itself around this proving ground and then I'll be able to take the wheel. So with that, Samuel, what's going to happen here? So what we're going to show you is um, the car is able to drive itself and we're using that to show you the lap and the whole interaction system with a slow lap at first and afterwards you'll be able to drive yourself but the car will still help you with steering guidance and braking. So during that, during the lap it's going to show me the racing line through the heads up display and the braking point as well and when to hit the gas right. is that correct that is correct all right and then after that i'll be able to drive and we'll talk through what happens there absolutely so what do we need need to do to to engage the uh the system so since this is a research project um there are a few steps that we need to do i need you to uh, shift into sport okay and stay on the brakes and i will first engage the steering assistance Steering support. Assistance online. And if you're ready, I am. You can go off Braking the brakes, support I'll online. Braking support Okay guys, online. here we go. So what I'm seeing here is in front of me is basically a, a heads up display or an augmented reality if you will. The car is speeding up and as you can see here in our first turn, there's this augmented line that and it's funny because there's this wall that comes up. You, I don't know if you can capture it. But it, it, if you can hear, it just says to get closer to the apex. And that's where your turning point is. And now you're turning out. And I'm seeing a green, a blue line, which is in its very simplest form to let me know that I need to speed up. And then it's so interesting that you can see the line turn. And after a first lap or so, approach from right. You kind of just look beyond it, and then, there you go. You see the car just braking to teach you where the braking point is going to be, and then the wheel will steer you in to the turn. This is really good because if you start off learning the line or learning how to drive early on before you, you, you form bad driving habits, you start to be a, you start off on a good foot, no pun intended. So as you can see here, right here. this I would miss. I would turn in too soon if I was new. But in this case, the car close to the told me to, to wait and wait before I turn in. That's something that you don't normally get as a beginning uh, driver on a, on a track or if you're driving a new track that you're not used to. And this is a straightaway. This is where I normally would really just gun it. In this case, it's still teaching me the line, so it's not going as fast. So if, if you can hear it, I don't know if you can hear it, it the braking sound starts really slow and it speeds up. And it's just, it blows my mind that there's a wall. If you, I don't know if you can see it, it just tells me that, hey, you need to turn. And we're about to finish our first lap. I need to put the yeah, brakes. Please stop the car at the first cone. Braking support offline. Perfect. Just stop right there. Okay, so support. that was pretty offline. cool, right? I mean, I'm sure most of you watching this will probably not have an opportunity to, to try this yourself, but that was pretty amazing. Now, the second part is going to be even more amazing because I'm going to be the one driving. Um, I've done this already, so I'm going to be able to tell you what's happening. And there are three levels. Race Trainer has level one, two, and three. They vary by um, how fast you can go. There's still braking input. There's still gonna be a steering input, but less of it as you gradually progress to a higher level. Is that right, Samuel? That is absolutely correct. And what else, what else can I do as I progress beyond that? Well, you could always um, increase the speed, but we're showing three discrete levels to um, get uh, let you learn the track with a smooth line in the beginning. 
Smooth as fast. Smooth as fast. That okay. Is absolutely correct. So what do we need to do to get started? Um, I need you to stay on the brakes. I am on the brakes. And I will re-engage the steering assistance. Steering support. Assistance online. And this time we will not accelerate for you anymore. Okay. But we will limit the power. So as you said, smooth as fast. So you get a smooth line and a smooth speed. And we're going to do level one. We're going to do Excellent. level one. And Braking support online. The system is ready. Awesome. You Are you guys ready? Let's go. Training started. So right here it's telling me to stop, uh, slow down. And it's I'm getting a lot of steering input because again, this is level one, speeding up right now. And I can see the racing line ahead of me. At some point, you're gonna you're gonna look beyond that braking, and then like right here, I want to hit the accelerator, but it's not letting me because it's controlling and teaching me the proper racing line. And there's just so much steering input. It's it's so cool to be able to to feel that at first, but later on as you progress, there's gonna be less of it. This is my favorite part of the track where you can just just punch it. And right there, normally I wait a little bit longer to break, but in this case, because it's level one. Um, it's breaking a lot sooner for me. And that is a wrap for this uh, first lap. We'll stop between the second and the third car. End of training. Okay, so Samuel, now that I've done the autonomous lap or the self-driving lap and I've done my System first lap, offline. can you help me understand how I can improve based on any feedback that I might get through the software. Right, so since we're capturing the lap that you just drove and how we helped you, we can now take a look at the line you drove. The fully, fully uh, colored line is the one we suggested you should mm -hmm. drive and the dashed line is the one that you drove. And you can already see that since you drove early already, you're really good, you're really um, doing what we, uh, ask you to do and we can have a look at your line that you, the line that you chose we can have a look at um, speed and other data that was recorded and we can also um, visualize how we helped you in that turn so we can turn on those arrows that show you for example red arrow means we we support assisted with additional braking pressure and white um, triangles show you that we steered a little bit for you. So you gotcha. can see that we um, steered you into the turn. And we can also have a look at this in a more static view where you can see that um, uh, how we helped you. And what you could get out of this is, for example, that uh, if we wouldn't have helped you, we would have probably have run wide on right. the turn. Um, and so you, which is easy to do for someone who's not familiar with a racetrack, right? And this is a very tricky turn because you have this late turn in and um, to Nugo and this apex, this late apex, where you negotiate. Uh, so we help you with negotiating this turn, um, and having this view afterwards kind of gives you the information you need to do a better second lap. And this boxer in the future, you're able to mount a camera, is that right? So for example, we could have some live video feed of a camera running there and we can do all sorts of other stuff. We can have a, a ghost car that, uh, that would show you what like the, the maximum speed uh, with that profile that we had uh, in store would allow. So all sorts of stuff that helps you even after you finish the lap. Great, thank you very much Samuel and congratulations. You're welcome. And that's a wrap guys. Thanks for watching Vincent Nguyen with Slash Gear.